Hello everybody and welcome back to my channel. My name is Amelia and this is Amelia Budgets and thank you so much for tuning in. Here on my YouTube channel I post a variety of different budgeting related videos and in the month of December I am doing vlogmas or budget miss or whatever it is you want to call it but I am posting a new budgeting related video every day up until Christmas Eve so if that is content that you may be interested in I would love it if you would subscribe. So today I am doing my week four spending check-in or the what I spend in a week video for um, the last week of November. Obviously, you guys know if you've seen my videos from the last few days, I'm a little bit behind, but I did want to update you on what I spent um, between the 24th and the 30th of November. Now, if you guys watch my video from yesterday, you'll know that I went pretty over budget on my compared to like my weekly budget. So on a weekly basis, my budget is actually $270. I was about $55 over yesterday. And unfortunately, what you're going to see today is me being even more over budget than that. So it really, for me, just kind of like cements that I do truly need to have some sort of Black Friday sinking fund. Because even though I knew in November I didn't really have the money, um, I wanted Black Friday stuff. <laughs> so I bought it anyways, and I have to figure out how to cover it, which is what I'm doing. So anyways... I'll flip you over and I will go through all of my transactions for November week four. Um, and then the other thing that I'm also going to do at the end of this video is I'm going to close out my paycheck number two because I missed videos and I didn't think it made sense to like do them all separate. So yeah. The first transaction that I had was on the 24th. This was in the miscellaneous category. I'm on, I placed an order through Elf Cosmetics um, for $58.54. Honestly, like I had really wanted to get like a liquid blush. So like this one here is if you guys can see this liquid blush, the Halo Glow Beauty Wand. And I had wanted it for a while and I had been planning on making an order a little bit earlier, maybe back in like October, November, but I was like, you know what? I can wait and I can probably wait until Black Friday and get a better deal. And I did, like I ended up getting 30% off on this order. If I had have waited until Cyber Monday, I would have actually gotten 40% off, which would have been a little bit better, but it really wouldn't have made like that much difference. It would have been like an extra like $5 or so. But so far, all of the stuff that I ordered from Elf Cosmetics are really nice. I did also get myself like this foundation, like the Halo Go, because I had seen it like all over like TikTok and everything and people saying it's really nice. And I do agree. I think it also is very nice. So if you're looking for a budget foundation, I would genuinely recommend all those products. Obviously, this is that was absolutely a hundred million percent not sponsored but just my personal opinion I liked the products that I've used so far so anyways that was fifty eight dollars and fifty four cents the next transaction that I had was on the 24th um, this was in the miscellaneous category I did order some things from Sephora which was $13.79 I had a gift card for like 40 something dollars, like around $50, which is why this was as expensive as it was. They had an Olaplex thing on sale um, for I think around $60. And then the actual price of it was, I can't, I can't remember exactly what it was, but I believe the retail value of the items was about double the price of what I paid for it. And I do use those products. So this was a good price at $13.79. Um, and this was the big one, <laughs> definitely something that put, ended up putting me quite a bit over budget um, for the month. What in the miscellaneous category, I did order myself a facial set and that was $135.60. So if you guys have been with me for like any length of time, you might remember that like last year around this time, um, I had bought facials for um, like my friends and, or I had bought it for Christmas. I can't exactly remember what it was, but anyways, it was that facial store. And when I had gone to get facials from there before, cause I had gone before, um, normally what I get is their like express facial, which I think is around like 30 minutes long, 40 minutes long, maybe I can't remember, but it's very nice, but this is for a full length facial and it's for two of them. So it was $120 just like plus tax. So that was a very good deal. And honestly, like if I could have bought more than two, too, I probably would and like just like figured out a way to like work that into my budget and went and got a facial like every other month again I'm not getting any younger so like skincare stuff is kind of being a little I'm a little bit more focused on that stuff now but yeah 135.60 for my facial on the 25th in the groceries category 
I did go to Loblaws and I spent $26.16. Um, and then on the 25th in the miscellaneous category, I did get flowers and this was $6.75. This was for, um, I was going to a birthday party that evening. So I got some flower stuff for um, one of my friends. Uh, then in the miscellaneous category, also on the 25th, um, I did get a birthday card, which was 903, which is kind of crazy. Cause like the birthday card was more expensive than the flowers, but like, it was like a boutique type place that were selling birth birthday cards. Like I did just go to the dollar store and this friend genuinely does really like cards. So I wasn't like mad at spending a little bit more on the card just because I, I know she'll actually keep it. Like she has a box of all the cards. So anyways, 903. On the 25th as well, um, I, in the miscellaneous category, I did get my nails done. These are the nails that you're seeing now. I absolutely love them. And that was $72. It's $60 cash. Like they don't charge you tax if you pay with cash. And then I left a $12 tip, which works out to like tw um, 20%. So $72 and I absolutely love these. I'm super worried though, because I went to book my next appointment and they took acrylic off of the list. <laughs> and if, and like I walked by the salt like the the nail place and they still have a sign outside that says they do acrylic but they took that off of the option to book online so i'm hopeful that i can still continue to go to this place and get my nails done but i'm not sure if i have to like get a different service because if that's the case i probably won't continue doing it but i've just been getting my nails done now and getting like acrylic nails now for like two months ish or so and I love it and it makes me remember how much I loved getting my nails done pre-pandemic and like not just getting my nails done just like getting like a regular manicure or getting shellac or whatever but it makes me remember why I liked getting my nails done so much and I really hope I don't have to try to find a new salon because this salon even though the pedicure from there isn't very good they've done such a good job at my nails so yeah that was $72. The next transaction that I had was on the 26th. This was in the groceries category. I did go to Fresh Co and I spent $20.93. And then in the miscellaneous category, um, I did order some one more thing from Indeed Labs, which was $14.14. This wasn't my full order. I ordered more stuff, but this was the last day of the 50% off sale. And ultimately I forgot some stuff in this order and I wanted to get gift items. So I ordered more stuff to get gift items. And then I ended up getting one thing for myself. So the other part of that order is going to be part of my Christmas budget that I haven't done yet. So yeah, anyways, 1414, which was part of like my actual November spending. On the 28th in the dining out category, I did go to Tim Hortons and I spent $5.64. They had a thing on the app where you could get like a breakfast sandwich and a drink for $5.64. So I tried it. I do like their breakfast sandwiches. It's just like, I don't know. I'm mad at Starbucks right now, <laughs> to be perfectly honest, you guys. Like I, what I get from my, like my base Starbucks drink is I get a chocolate cold brew, but I don't get chocolate cold brew. I get vanilla cold brew. And if you go into the app and you order a cold brew and then you add vanilla cold foam, it's like a dollar ish more than getting a chocolate cold foam, which to me makes absolutely no sense because it's literally just a different type of syrup. Like the chocolate cold foam has one type of syrup. The vanilla cold foam has a different type of syrup. Like there's no difference there, but what you used to be able to do was like order a chocolate cold brew, say no chocolate and add vanilla. And that was, there was no charge for that. They now charge you an extra dollar 25 to do that. So I haven't gotten a Starbucks drink, like my normal Starbucks drink in like quite a while now. Also it's getting cold, but what I've kind of transitioned over to drinking is like a Starbucks or not a Starbucks, a, a Tim Hortons steeped tea. So that might be my drink for the rest of the winter. And to be perfectly honest, I don't know what I'm going to be doing with Starbucks. Like come like spring and summer and stuff. Cause as much as I like their cold brew with cold foam, I don't think it's worth it. Like, and I just think it's ridiculous that they're charging you an extra dollar to get like a different flavor of syrup. But anyways, 564 from Tim Hortons. Next on the 28th in the dining out category, I did get sushi, which was 1034. And then on the 28th as well in the dining out category, I did go back to Tim Hortons and I spent 167 and I'm 
this is a donut. <laughs> I like their donuts, their chocolate dip donuts. Um, then on the 28th in the miscellaneous category, I did go to Rexall and I spent $12.41. This was on deodorant. And then on the 29th in the groceries category, I did go to Metro and I spent $1.99. This was on just like a couple buns. I had made myself soup last week. It's a super, super easy soup in case you guys are interested. So it's literally carrots, celery, white beans, onion, garlic, chicken broth or vegetable broth I just have chicken broth and then like salt and pepper you cook it in the crock pot if you have a crock pot for like six to eight hours on low and then I took approximately half of what was in the crock pot and I put it in the blender and then I mixed it back in I believe it made six servings calorie wise it works out to probably around like 200 calories or 250 calories per bowl it's very filling because of the beans and it's just very tasty. And for me, it's nice to like not have to cook in the evenings or at lunchtime. So I made that for myself last week um, as a soup and I had just gotten myself a couple buns to eat along with it. And then this weekend, like this past weekend, what I actually did was I got um, some, I did basically the same recipe. I did more carrots, less celery, and then I subbed one of the can of, of beans for lentils and it was still very good. So anyways, easy soup recipe. <laughs> um, then on the 29th as well in the miscellaneous category, I did have another laser appointment. Um, I'm getting laser hair removal. This was one of my appointments and I tipped $20. And then on the 30th, my last transaction, I went to the grocery store and I did go to Farm Boy and I spent $10.19. And that was it for week number four. Obviously like a very, very spendy week. So now let's flip over and I will go over my totals for this last week, which was unfortunately pretty high. So in the groceries category, I ended up spending $59.27. So at the end of week three, I had $50.30 left in groceries. I spent $59.27, leaving me over budget. I unfortunately need my red pen by eight dollars and 97 cents i'm gonna actually leave my red pen out because i know i need it again in the dining out category i actually only ended up spending 17 dollars and 65 cents so i still had 55.92 i spent 17.65 leaving me with 38.27 so I'm happy overall here that I'm still like technically $30 under budget when it comes to food, but obviously like I don't love that I was over budgeting groceries. Gas, I didn't spend anything this week, so I still had 116 left over, which is awesome. And then finally, miscellaneous, <laughs> I spent a total of $342.26 in miscellaneous. So I had $123.03 left. I spent $342.26, leaving me over budget in miscellaneous by $219.23, which is obviously like a lot of money. If you add all of these categories up, it brings my spending to $419.18. I only had $345.25 left. So because I spent $419.18, it means that I was over budget in my variable expense categories by $73.93, which is not ideal. Again, I've upped my budget a lot. Like I give myself $270 per week. So I'm giving myself over a thousand dollars in spending for the entire month. And the fact that I'm over budget by like $75, like it's not like proportionally, that's a huge difference. It's just like not great but what it does kind of like reinforce for me again I said this at the beginning I need to have a Black Friday sinking fund like it's kind of a non-negotiable um in terms of my November paycheck number two <laughs> I'll run through this really quickly so this video isn't like crazy long although it is going to be honestly a little bit long um I budgeted 1909 for my salary that was exactly what I got so no difference no extra income so again my actual income was exactly what I expected at 1909 I put the 600 towards my rent I did 350 towards a debt payment savings was 80 
car insurance was 129 phone bill was 71 and sinking funds I did do 200 so no difference there so my total fixed expenses was exactly what I wanted it to be which was 1430 so again no difference but then when it came to my variable expenses, groceries, I did spend $145 in this pay period. So a little bit over budget in groceries, um, unfortunately, by $25. Dining out, I was also over budget. I didn't realize that. $130 was my dining out budget. So again, I was over budget here by $10. Gas, I didn't spend any money. It's the only one that I'm positive in. So that's $80 positive. And then miscellaneous was definitely the worst one because I spent $481 in miscellaneous, putting me over budget by $281. If you add all of these categories up, it's a total spend of $756. So if you take this 520 and you subtract the 756, that means I was $236 over budget in this paycheck specifically. So again, if you reconcile that, you take the 25 negative, you subtract 10, you add 80, and then you subtract another 281, giving you the 236. So when I bring my numbers all down, again, income was exactly what right, so no difference, so 1909. Then my fixed expenses, again, it was exactly right, 14430, so minus 1430. And then my pretty, pretty sad fixed expense or variable expenses at 756, again, which was 200 and 36 over so minus 756 leaving me over budget for this paycheck of 277 dollars so that was quite a bit more than i expected it to um i was 200 again and 36 dollars over like i spent 236 dollars more than i had hoped to in this paycheck so again a lot to go over. I know that was a long video. Um, and obviously, like, it's not like I have like a ton of money sitting in a buffer. Like I've got some money in a buffer, but like not $277. But it's okay. Everything did work out in the month of November. And if you're interested in how I got everything to work out in the month of November, stay tuned for tomorrow when I close up my November budget as a whole. So yeah, anyways, that is it for today. Thank you again, you guys so much for tuning in. Again, my name is Amelia and this is Amelia Budgets. As I just said, my next video will be up tomorrow and that's going to be my November budget closeout. I hope you all have an amazing day and I will talk to you again tomorrow. Goodbye.